And we have more breaking news. The union representing 45,000 dock workers has just agreed to suspend the strike. Reps saying workers will return to work tomorrow after the two sides reached a tentative agreement on wages. We're still waiting for details on this agreement. Talks will continue through January 15th on the master contract. Meantime, fears of shortages sparking some people to panic by items, especially toilet paper. Eyewitness News reporter Leticia Juarez explains why the panic is unnecessary. At the Costco in Lake Elsinore, shoppers lined up early for the big box store to open. Once it did, many made a beeline for the hottest items of the season, toilet paper and paper towels. Yeah, everybody's got the same thing on their mind, running out of paper goods. On Tuesday, dock workers at 36 East and Gulf Coast ports walked off the job after contract negotiations broke down. The shutdown signaled a potential disruption to the supply chain not seen since COVID-19. I basically got toilet paper and paper towels because if everyone's going crazy again, I don't not want to be prepared. From Virginia to Texas, the story was the same. Frantic shoppers and empty shelves. Yesterday I came in, there was no more water and there was no more toilet paper. So therefore we want to make sure we're stocked up. But is the panic over a shortage of paper products much ado about nothing? You're Not exactly, you. says Tyler Reeb, interim executive director at Cal State Long Beach's Center for International Trade and Transportation. For anybody worried about toilet paper shouldn't be worried. Uh, what we do need to look at is how this global network of supply chain professionals, stakeholders work together to find some workarounds. Reeb says global supply chain experts anticipated the strike and diverted goods to ports along the West Coast. Also, because toilet paper is produced in the U.S., it doesn't go through the ports. Instead, the most likely items to be impacted by the strike are... Auto parts and accessories, bananas, um, imported alcohol, semiconductors, solar cells, those kinds of things. Not everyone is stocking up. For some shoppers, this was just a regular run to the store. Yo digo, comprar lo necesario. She says, I say buy what you need. I don't believe there's going to be a crisis. We've been hearing this for a long time. For now, there appears to be no shortage on toilet paper, paper towels, or bottled water. Reporting in Lake Elsinore, Leticia Juarez, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.